Welcome, Tina Wiesner. I'm Michael Kötzl, the editor of uh, the um, curator of this uh, exhibition. Um, 100 years of Leica, 36 images. It's um, a very narrow selection, of course. But we tried to show how Leica images dominate our visual memory. Uh, you know that the camera has been invented in 1914, just before the First World War. And there were, I mean, three elements that made it possible that the Leica became such an important tool for capturing our visual history. First of, first of all, it was small, so you really could have it with you. You must imagine the cameras that photojournalists used in those days were big boxes. You had to hold them like that. You had one plate and you made like that, snap, and then you had to change the plate. So this is not an instrument to capture life very quickly. If you have to change the plate, it's very long. And you had maximum six to 12 plates with you. So after 12 plates, it was finished. With the Leica, you had 36 frames and you had some rolls of film. So you were 400 or 150 photographs ready to do. And the Leica was perfect to capture real moments of life, to be in the middle of what was happening. That's why so many important steps of our recent history became iconic through Leica images, like Robert Kappa's falling soldier taken in 1936, which really has become perhaps the most famous war photograph or the end of Second World War. You see here when Eisenstedt captured that moment. And this is really a symbol for the fact that people were overwhelmed by the fact that war is over. They, they didn't know the two. They just, the man picked the woman and they kissed and he was absolutely happy that now this war stops. So Leica photographers have been ready all over the world to capture these moments. Some really has be have become very iconic and we try to make a selection of all that. We show women that very early on became professional photographers with a Leica. We have avant-garde photographers like Alexander Rachenko, who a very formalist photographer who deals with the vision from above, with lines, with shadow and light. We have Paul Wolf, who was a pioneer of the Leica system uh, in the 20s and 30s. Cartier-Bresson, of course, who made most of his photographs with the Leica. We have photography in color, because when the Kodachrome was introduced in 1935, it was introduced for 35 millimeter cameras, not for big cameras at the beginning. We have uh, contemporary, we have uh, images that are more relaxed, I would say, the nice moments of life also. And so we go until our days. And the last image is an image by a young French photographer who makes images from film, from movies. He photographs movies, but very unsharp. So you have to reconstruct in your head the real image and remember, oh, this is Hitchcock, this is Vertigo, this is the bridge. So young photographers use the Leica in a very new, fresh and different way. So after 100 years, the story is not over. There is a, just a new chapter that opens to the Leica system. And now it's young artists that I use the, the camera often against the principles of the manual, but the result is very, very interesting. Thank you. If you have a question. Sind wir zu früh dran? Nein? Nein? Prima. Super. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You, where are you from? From, from, from Japan. Japan. From Japan. Ah, yeah. Thank you very much. Are you starting your collection? Yes. Yeah, we will change a bit. Yes. And I know that Japanese photographers very early on, Ihe Kimura, he published a book, uh, uh, yeah, Japan through the Leica, yeah, in 36, I think. 
so very early and we, 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 we had a research in the Leica distribution books and even in 1926 the first Leicas went to Japan oh. there is a note to Tokyo the first Leicas in 26 so there is a long common tradition and in the next when we change we will have some like some Japanese Leica photographers mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Shoi Ueda, Shoji Ueda, some of the Magnum photographers, the Kubota, yes, they, they all use them. Thank you. It is permanent, but we will change some of the images from time to time. So, if you come back, you will have a new experience. Uh -huh. So how often do you change the some photograph? Maybe after a year, two years. Yeah. So. We are now happy that it's on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy the day. Enjoy. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Man. Die Ausstellung 100 Jahre, 36 Bilder, 100 Jahre, warum? Die Leica wurde 1914 erfunden, konstruiert von Oskar Barnack für 35 mm Film und äh, er hat eben ein Stück von der großen Rolle abgeschnitten, die Arme ausgestreckt, schnapp, schnapp und das waren dann am Ende 36 Bilder. Diese Zahl haben wir sozusagen metaphorisch genommen, um hier eine Ausstellung mit 36 Fotoikonen aus dem 20. Jahrhundert zusammenzustellen. Wichtige Bilder, spannende Bilder, emotionale Bilder, Bilder, die unsere neuere Geschichte widerspiegeln, Bilder von Frauen, von Fotografen, von Männern, Bilder aus Europa, aus Amerika, Bilder in Farbe, Bilder in Schwarz-Weiß. Ein breites Spektrum, das zeigt, wie die Leica im 20. Jahrhundert unsere neuere Geschichte begleitet hat.